The next command that we will look at, let's check it out. I'm going to display it on the screen for us to see. So this is the next command, and that is curl. Okay, curl is also a utility that is used to download files from the internet. All right, so it's it it works almost the same way as W get. All right, so in Linux as of in Linux platforms, chances are you have W get installed. In macOS, you have curl already installed. All right, so I'm just showing these two utilities so that depending on the system, you know which of them to use to download your files. All right, or if it's a single file, so you just download it. So let's move back to the terminal and then use kill. So we are still going to use the same data that I showed. Let me just go back. I'll just go back here. I think I'll just visit this repo again so that we just see it, so that we just restart. All right. So we are going to download this file, okay, using kill. Again, I repeat, the link to this repo is in the description box. The file we are going to use is on one of my GitHub repo, which is here. So if you want to get this repo, just check the description box. The link to this page is there. You can use that. So when you are here, click on my file or zip. That's what we are going to use. So click it. And when you click it, you'll get this coming up. And then to get a link, we are going to use the download link, by the way. So come to the right side. And then look at raw so right click it and then go to copy link i repeat when you are here right click and then go to copy link so this will copy the download link for you i also try to put the download link in the description box for you to use all right so that's it so let's get back to the terminal and then let's use curl so to use curl you just type curl like this and then what do you do you just supply your link like this and you say dash dash output and you will give it a name so with this one i'll give it a different name so i'll just say let's say files.zip we already have my files.zip so i'll use files.zip so this is going to be the final command to download this particular file using curl again i'll just try to reduce the font size so that beginners will still know that everything is supposed to be on the same line so i'll just reduce everything we should see everything on the same line so that's how it's supposed to be it's small but you can manage so curl you supply your down link and then you say dash dash output and you give the output name all right so this is how you use curl to download files okay now, instead of dash dash output, you can also say dash o, like this. This will also work for you. So, if you want to shorten it, if you want to avoid too much typing, you can just use dash o, lowercase o, ip dash o, lowercase o, and that will also download for you. All right. So, that works. Now, this approach, in some situations, this particular approach may not work for you. Okay. But one which works on Linux systems especially is a different approach. This approach may or may not work on a Linux system. And also I'm sure it will be the same on a macOS system. And so if you, let's say you use this approach and it doesn't work, then you have to use this approach which actually works. All right. So I'm going to show you this other approach which works for Kel. All right. So you try this and you can try the other one then you can just come. But the other one I'm going to show you works for the most part so don't worry don't get confused i'm going to give you all the necessary information that you need to use care okay so i will clear this and then i will i am going to redo it again this is just a demo i'm going to redo it again but this time i'll just enlarge it so that we see what is happening i will just increase the font size again to 23 that should be fine okay okay so that's what we are going to do we are going to use this approach which actually works 100 percent especially if you are if you are downloading files from github this works so i'll say care i'll supply the link like this and then i'll say dash l o dash l Oh, okay. 
Dash L O is going to help us. So this is going to be it, and I'm going to specify the output file. And then what I will do is to specify the output file. So you know the first one we had what? Let's check it here. I think the first one we had what? My father zip. So we we'll use a different name here. Yeah. So I'm going to say files.zip like this. So this approach works for you if you are using a Linux system. All right. So again, I will try to decrease the font size. I, I just want to try and switch so that beginners know what has been done. I think it's better that way. All right. So this becomes the final command. So curl, you supply your link and you say dash L or the L is uppercase and the O is lowercase and you indicate the file name, the output, the output name. So this is going to be the final command. All right. So you can execute this command. And then you can see the progress. So if you look at the progress, you see the file size also be indicated. And so that will tell you that everything is okay. But if you see just zero, zero, that means that there's something wrong. And so the previous command I showed, you would have gotten zero, zero or throughout, but this one works fine. So that's why I had to show you this other approach too. So if you use the first approach, which we didn't run by the way, if you use it and it doesn't work, just try this. This one is going to work. Now I'm going to reverse and change the font size again. Let's see. All right. So now if you do an ls, you are going to find the other file there, which is this one here. Files.zip. All right. So they are all the same, but the names are different. It's just to allow me to show you how to use different utilities to download files from the internet. All right, so this is scale for you. Okay, now let's do this.